everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Raid Shadow Legends, and we are on the test server. We're checking out a new Shadowkin epic that's been added to the game. I think they are going to be another solid clan boss DPS uh, option for many, many clan boss teams, especially all of those unkillable teams. They are force affinity, so it's good to have a mixture of champions that can plug and play for some of those comps. Not everyone is one key ultra nightmare friendly, like some of the void champions, like how I use Rugnor Gold Gleam in a bad eater, but I mean, with the sake of being able to swap in or swap out someone, it's not so bad. So if you're not lucky enough to have like a Rugnor or a Bellinor or Venus or someone maybe that's a little bit easier, maybe even Ninja to use for like a bad eater uh, and you're using Fane, Fane is not the easiest to be able to one key with a bad eater, for example, when it's bad affinity. And I think the same might be true for this champion here at Force Affinity, but overall, uh, I think they're gonna be a really great option to plug into your team. So if you wanna have two options, when it is certain affinities, this champion is the stun target. There's also a lot of clan boss comps that really require you to have a champion as your stun target that is a certain affinity. It just makes it easier, right? When they're the negative affinity, you force them to be the stun target. And I think she's going to be someone that can fulfill that role as well, depending on a different comp. But today we're going to talk Bad Eater because, you know, you guys know I try to plug and play in stuff into my team to see how they compare. So right now we've got... Um, let's see, we have a poison on the A1, 40% chance to place a poison goes up to 50% chance for two times, for, let's see, two times for two turns. So two, we can place two poisons on the A1, that's really great. We have a weakened debuff as well that books up to a 70% chance to land. And then we have a decreased defense that books up to an 80% chance to land. The big version on a three turn cooldown, so... Overall, I mean, of course you see decreased defense, weaken poison. The first thing you think of is clan boss. But ironically enough, the aura is for dungeons. So maybe, I don't know, dragon is <laughs> something else. Sure, why not? But overall, I still think this champion screams at clan boss. So let's go take a look. I'm going to show you guys my run that I did with the bad eater. And then we're going to talk about it overall. I think it's pretty darn good though. I think she's solid. And I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I feel so depressed when I can't seem to get out. But something deep inside won't let me quit. Inspired by worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did shit, I know it hurts. Something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit. Tell me that I can and I won't. That's what guides me the most. Fuck your lies, I'll do what I want. <laughs> Oh, 
gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. And once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. Don't let somebody take your time and your work. about others way before myself yeah i guess that's why i feel like i go through hell damn wasting time on your dreams instead of mine yeah about to turn this franchise around on a dime man it's all about finding your right state of mind it's all about turning the worst into fine it's all about time and the work and the climb from the thirst we will rise i'm immersed in this life don't let somebody take your time and your worth just focus on yourself first don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first Don't let somebody take your time and your worth Just focus on yourself first And as we can see, this was a pretty solid one key Ultra Nightmare team, right? 75 million. Uh, this is on Void Affinity. Typically, that's what it's at here on the test server. And as expected, did pretty darn well. I mean, she has all the elements we need. So I'm going to show you guys my builds for all the champions, including her, in case you want to build something similar yourself. But overall, I think she's 100% um, a perfect candidate for Clan Boss. DPS's including in a bad eater. Now, she is the decreased defense and weakened champion. Um, so that can affect the whole team, of course, right? So when it is her bad affinity, when it's spirit, this might be an issue and it might be a one key issue. Like you might have to two key alternate nightmare or put in someone else like Fane. Frozen Banshee, just a different DPS, uh, depending on the situation here. Or, I think one thing that's possible is, I, I don't really think we overcapped our debuffs. So, for example, I only have, I have Painkeeper in a Toxic set. Maneater, Maneater Seeker, nothing special for them. Um, if you can still keep, but I have really good crit damage on my Slow Maneater. So if you can still get really good crit damage on your Slow Maneater, and put them in maybe a Fury set or a Toxic set as well if you have good strong damage gear. That's an option as well. But don't sacrifice your stats too much to try to push in those special sets. But that could be a way to secure a solid one key Ultra Nightmare comp. Also, keep in mind, Blessings. No one in this team right now, even though I do have one, I didn't put it on. No one in this team right now has... A cruelty blessing that makes a really big difference in clan boss also if you had her 
in a phantom touch blessing, even just a one star, everything would be so helpful and add to the damage. So, or anyone else in some phantom touch blessings would be helpful as well. Overall, though, we'd probably want a cruelty blessing here. Um, there's no legendaries to be had to be able to throw a brimstone in, unfortunately, but that's fine. But I think it's a really great, I think she's awesome. I think you, it's obvious when you read her kit, it should be awesome. But, you know, you want to see it. You want to actually try it out, right? And that's why we're here on the test server, giving her a war, giving her a spin, <laughs> taking her out for a spin in a simple bad eater comp. Um, again, I do, I think, I think if we had cruelty in this team on one of these champions, at least here, well, it could only have it on, it only stacks so far, right? So you just need it on one champion. If we had that on one champion, then I do think one key ultra nightmare, even bad affinity is possible for her. So that's really nice to see. It's nice to see a solid 75 mil without a ton of blessings on people. Only Painkeeper has phantom touch and Painkeeper is not exactly a super high attack damage dealing champions so it's this is definitely very promising now let's go take a look at the builds here is my fast man eater simple simple bad eater comp guys nothing too special here easy peasy simple to build and the same masteries as i would give both man eaters there they are and for this one, I do have pretty good stats. This is my slower one. So he's got 262 crit damage. Nice and solid damage there. Um, decent attack as well. So this is one of those things where I've tried doing some teams where I have him in Fury or I have him in Toxic. But it, when I do that, I lose my attack and I lose my crit damage a little bit. And it ends up being less or the exact same damage. So it really isn't worth it in the end unless you can really pump out this kind of damage with those sets I've certainly found. Um, I'm going to show, I guess we'll show her now. She's right here. So I do have her in the same gear as my Rugnor. I literally took his gear off and put it on her. She does have lower base attack than Rugnor Gold Gleam. That's the Void Dwarf that I always use in my bad editor that has literally never failed me for a one key. So he's got 1400 base attack. She's got 1300. So it does make it a little bit easier for him to get higher stats. So on my Rugnor, I do have a solid 5000 attack. She's only got 4600. I tried my best given the gear. Um, and she's, but other than that, she's got the same stats, uh, everything else except for the actual attack itself is different just based on her base attack, how she scales with percentages, and what gear I have here. I did, I was able to get a double attack roll here, a double attack roll here on this attack revenge revenge is great any chance to counter attack i have two revenge pieces on her here she does have accuracy banner if you can get accuracy in the stats and be able to put an attack banner on as well that's another possibility but luckily this banner i do have attack flat and attack percentage here as well so we were able to get some extra damage on her there but not quite as high as my rugnor so i'm not surprised but it still works out just fine. So we also have Seeker, of course. Seeker is in Speed and Cruel. Um, don't overly worry about Cruel or Savage Gear in Clan Boss. The Clan Boss does not have a lot of high base defense to worry about ignoring. So that gear does not really serve you as well in Clan Boss, honestly. You'd be better off in Fury or some of the other random sets that can help give you damage in a different manner. But Seeker here has decent crit damage and attack. Nothing insane, though, by any means. And here is his Masteries. Oh, I realized I think I forgot my Masteries for her. Let's go up and show those. So pretty typical, just Bad Eater Masteries. Now, we don't proc Retribution quite as often, this counterattack here, be that, as I would with Rugnor on my team, because he has a Leech. And with a Leech that allows everyone to heal... And then they heal back up and then they drop back down again. They heal back up, they drop back down again. And every time that happens, you have more chances to proc retribution. So without a leech in this team or better version, any sort of better extra healing, um, you're not going to proc retribution as often as you would with a champion that does have that skill. So other than that, we do have, of course, Painkeeper. Painkeeper for me isn't a toxic set. There's the Masteries here. And boom. Simple. 
Nothing's crazy. I do have Phantom Touch because I happen to get that blessing. I do actually have a blessing for my Man Eater, so I sh probably should have put that on before doing this run. But I kind of like to show with less blessings if I can. And when I record, unless I've already put them on and it's too late, it's fine. I could always change them for the sake of the video. But I think it's nice to show that even without blessings, it seems like a pretty solid one key. And even with bad affinity, if you just throw on one more blessing, like one cruelty blessing, I think that our new champion here, Surian, is going to be a solid clan boss option. So hopefully you guys have some fun luck. And if you're looking for a bad eater or any, well, if you're just looking for a clan boss DPS, she might be your answer. Extra poisons against dragon, decreased defense and weakens certainly doesn't hurt there either. That could be fun, but yeah, I think she seems pretty solid, and let me know what you think in the comments below. If anyone gets her, I'd love to hear where you end up using her. But thank you guys for watching. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.